Dude, the action on this freaking crankbait is nuts. But there is one more thing I need to show you guys. We are not done. Check out this. This is all the new baits that are going to be released in the 2022 iCast. As you can see, the detail of these plastics is insane. Check out that catfish. What is going on guys and welcome back to another fishing adventure. So it is another hot summer day. It is 102 at 11 a.m. Freaking ridiculous. But we're out here on the boat. We're going to try and catch some bass. But before we do that, I need to show you guys some brand new tackle from Fish Lab Tackle. This, these baits right here I've been talking about the last few months. They're finally coming out to us and uh, they're freaking awesome. So let me show you guys real quick what is in this box because it is amazing tackle. So let's get started these are some of the baits that are going to be released at iCast this year so fish web tackle killing it coming out with some crazy lures stuff that i've never seen before and probably stuff that you've never seen before honestly i mean the plastics that we're going to talk about are freaking insane so detailed but first first off i gotta open this up these treble hooks are freaking sharp all this stuff is not in the normal packaging because it is all brand new stuff. There's not packaging for it yet. <laughs> That's how new and unreleased these baits are. You know things are fresh whenever they come in Ziploc bags like this. This is the new stuff. So first off, we got the Bio Rat. Guys, check out this rat. Once again, this is all from Fish Lab Tackle. BBZ, I guess they're working together, creating these awesome freaking lures dude this is nuts i've never fished a rat before but these rats come in seven inches and ten inches this is a pretty big rat look it has the feet there on the back paddles has this rubber tail freaking insane dude look at the detail the teeth the hand the nails the ears i mean this guy is freaking insane this is a hard plastic it's not soft or anything it is hard freaking beautiful man i have never used a rat before so i'm pretty excited to try this will this catch fish in my local lake probably i don't know <laughs> i have no idea but pretty insane so there is the first lure the bio rat that is coming out next up we got the bio gizzard shad look God. look at that dude the freaking detail on this guy, the scales, everything about it, the segments, dude, that thing is freaking beautiful. Holy crap. We do have a lot of carp in this lake as well, always swimming around. So we throw this guy around bass. I bet this thing will get eaten up. No problem. BBZ Bio Shad Gizzard. What's next? What's next? And then this one. This is the one I am super excited about. This is the BBZ Bioshad Crankbait. This is the bone color. Let's open this guy up. I'm throwing this on first, and this is what I will be using for the next few hours because this guy is absolutely amazing. This guy can go in about two inches of water, real shallow, you can throw this guy in mud. I can throw this in the real shallow parts and not have to worry about getting stuck and the action of this guy is insane all about the action but look at it just freaking look at it man bbz bio shad crankbait rubberized tail here i'm not sure what material that is but oh. yep that's definitely going on first i mean they're all going on but we're gonna be throwing this guy around a lot next up we got some plastics these baits are nuts guys i cannot wait to freaking show you how crazy these baits are so these are all the new plastics coming out. So here is the kick and crawl. So this is just a plastic crawl. But this, look at this, look at the detail guys. This is insane. Got the antennas here, the kick and crawls, some feet here that kick. And then we got this crazy umbrella built into the plastic. Like, have you ever seen a plastic crawl like this? <laughs> I never have, this is insane. So we got a few of those crawls. Let's just dump all this plastics out real quick. We'll go through them a lot quicker if we organize it. All right, looks like we got two different sizes and two each of that size. So here is what we got. We got the cover bird. We got the dragonflies. We got the flipping frog. And then we got the kick and crawl. 
and I mean as you can see the detail of these plastics is insane look at this freaking dragonfly dude it has four each of these wings has a little paddle tail on there like how freaking insane is that you got the legs just dude the detail of these plastics from fish club tackle and I've never seen anything like this just absolutely nuts that this is a plastic if you want to know why the dragonfly is such a powerful lure oh they're flying off but literally dragonflies all over my rod tip right here that one wants to fight me it's looking right in my eyes it's like what do you want man get out of here this is my pole but the other ones flew off <laughs> but yeah oh there they are <laughs> dragonflies everywhere right now and that is why this dragonfly plastic is an awesome plastic to have next up is the cover bird so this is a bird plastic fish do eat birds and uh fish lab took full advantage of that and they made this bird plastic detailed all the wings got the little face here got the tail some kicking and legs right here and then it has the hook slot right here freaking it's nuts dude and then we got the flipping frog look at them little fingers look at them feet <laughs> how insane is that so freaking awesome all these plastics too come in seven different colors a few different sizes and then the kick and crawl which i just showed y'all but i'll show y'all again with the phone fish lab tackle absolutely killing it this is all the new baits that are going to be released in the 2022 iCast in July. I mean, we're in July, in a few weeks, in, in one week. And then we also have a full box here of Bio Minnow Vertical Jigs. So let's, let's dump these out. Bio Minnow Vertical Jigs with a metal tail that you can actually fold up and fold back down to control how this thing bounces in the water. We're gonna open up all these, get rid of all the packaging but there she is, dude. I have been so freaking excited about these. I wish I got them a little bit sooner when the bite was still hot, but we'll definitely put these out there and catch some walleye, crappie, and sand bass on these. Cannot freaking wait. There's one. We have a bunch here, different colors, different sizes. Freaking fish lab, man. Coming out with the heat, the juice. I tried sneaking away from me. Here's the big one. Two and three quarter bio minnow vertical jig. So there is a little taste of what Fish Lab Tackle is coming out with. Some crazy awesome baits. Swim baits, plastics, jigs, you name it. If you guys haven't checked out fishlabtackle.com, go check them out. I mean, what are you doing? They got amazing baits. The link is in the description. Go check it out below. I am sponsored by Fish Lab Tackle, just so you all know. But uh, truly, these are amazing baits. Crazy plastics that I have not seen on the market anything like this before. So, game changer. That's nuts. We're about to get some poles out and rig up all these lures. And then today, we're going to go out and do some fishing. Once again, it, it is hot. Hot as balls. And uh, I don't know how the fishing is going to be. But we'll see. We do got some awesome lures to try and throw at them though. So, we'll see what we can do. Let's bust out some rods. Dude, the action on this freaking crankbait is nuts. Dude, that is amazing. Yep, I'm gonna love this Bioshy crankbait. Got that tied on. All right, so the kick and crawl can actually be a trailer as well. So I'm gonna throw one on the back of this bladed jig. I'm also going to be Texas rigging this crawl. It is summer though, so it's not gonna be the best, but we'll try it. The skirt on top of the skirt. Don't know how that's gonna do, but I just wanna try this crawl on the back of a bladed jig. Cause why not? Look how freaking big and juicy that looks. Oh, baby. 
that is going to be a big piece of bait moving through the water might catch some fatties with this one all right so there's that Let's see how she looks in the water oh yeah those legs are kicking <laughs> heck yes okay there's that Next up we have the drop shot rod, which I do not use enough. I need to because of this freaking ITX carbon spinning reel. This reel is freaking amazing. And uh, it's kind of ne neglected. I need to drop shot more. But with these plastics, you can actually drop shot quite a bit of them. So what I'm going to throw on, should we do the frog or the dragonfly i kind of want to do a dragonfly on the ned rig because that just kind of looks like a ned rig right but uh let's try let's try on the drop shot first just stab it right through the head there's a drop shot i already have a jig tied on here but i'm gonna take that off and we're gonna go Texas rig. I'm gonna throw these jigs in the spoon box. Why is that in there? Who knows? Go. Awesome. All right. And we're throwing the kick and crawl on the Texas rig. Plastic feels pretty tough too. Like it's a strong plastic. Kind of hard to slide it through the hook. That is good. That means the plastic will last. All right, there it is on the Texas rig with the green tungsten and then the purple skirt here. Almost looks like a Joker theme bait. Freaking beautiful mine. All right, there's the Texas rig. We will use that in a different spot. What else do we got? That's it. All right, we're all rigged up, but there is one more thing I need to show you guys. We are not done with the brand new lures. Check out this. All right, so this is the thing that I've been most excited about. We don't have that many big fish in my local lake, so my big bait confidence is not very good. <laughs> but look at these Hydra Glide Baits. I have been waiting for these to come out from Fish Lab for the longest time. Ever since I've seen these, I was like, yes, these are freaking awesome. And they are finally starting to come out. Well, not yet, but you know, for us, they're coming out. Look how freaking beautiful these lures are, man. Holy crap. Boom. Which one do I want to throw? I'm going to throw... I'm going to throw this one. Oh, there's a turtle. Coming to hang out. Say what's up. What's up, turtle? Coming out very soon, if they're not already out. But they were coming out very soon, and they were freaking awesome. I love big swim baits, glide baits, and uh, I don't have the confidence with them, but now that we have some, I can definitely start throwing them around and try to build up the confidence. Oh, baby. Dude, that thing has some weight to it. That is awesome. Fish lab tackle, baby. Tail slides out to replace it. These freaking hooks are sharp, catching onto my fingers and shorts. Ow. 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 Okay. Dude. I could throw this around forever. We're going to. We're throwing this bad boy today. That thing is so sick. Hydro Glide Baits. How heavy are these? Three and a half ounces. All right, we're busting out the Okuma Guide Select Swim Bait Stick for this bad boy. Only rod I got that can really throw it comfortably. I believe this rod can throw up to 10 ounces. Yep, 10, 2 to 10 ounces is what this rod can throw. So we have a 3 ounce glide bait here. 65 pound braid. God, this glide bait is freaking beautiful, man. All right, 8 inch Hydra glide bait from Fish Lab Tackle. Let's check out the action of this guy. Dude. Freaking nuts. It's kind of weird working a glad bait like this, but you get the idea. 
freaking epic. Always start really tight with big swim baits because you never know. All right, we are all rigged up, boys. Ready to go. Just look at that. Absolutely freaking gorgeous, man.